Well, uh, indeed, um, that is also um, uh, what, what we have witnessed uh, in, in the first quarter. And we have to really now see uh, on how long is the crisis going to take and how deep is the economical downturn actually going to be. So that is the big unknown right now. Um, the good news is that markets clearly have faith uh, into the action taken uh, by the policy uh, makers. And that was in regards to reacting very quickly and reacting uh, at a dimension that we have never seen before. And that this is so far uh, giving a lot of confidence um, to market participants um, that this action taken is going to bridge us um, over this economic downturn. Jörg, I'm going to say this. I think we were overbanked beforehand. We had too many weak banks in Europe even before this COVID crisis. Too many of them hadn't solved the problems of the last financial crisis. Surely it's time to end this stupid situation where we are light years behind the US in recognising the problems of our banking sector. We need to move ahead systemically, don't we? Yeah, there, there will be clearly an element of that. And um, the crisis eventually will... Uh, from our perspective, clearly have a catalyst effect, uh, where we also will most likely see uh, consolidation occurring. Um, and that most likely is going to be an international consolidation, not necessarily all driven amongst the regional players. So we wouldn't be surprised if there is going to be um, takeovers and consolidation as an aftermath uh, out of the crisis.